Destiny 2's weapon system sports a huge change from the original Destiny setup. In the original Destiny, you had three weapons, a primary, special, and heavy weapon. In Destiny 2, they changed that system to a kinetic, energy, and power weapon instead. In terms of types of weapons, almost all the same weapon types still exist, but they have been recategorized. Both games have snipers, rockets, auto rifles, sidearms, etc., with the only differences being that we now have SMGs and grenade launchers, and we don't have large machine guns. Technically, we now have linear fusion rifles and a trace rifle, cold heart, but because that only accounts for two weapons and an exotic, I don't consider them truly new weapon types. Queenbreaker's Bow and Destiny 1 was a linear fusion rifle, so it's not a fundamentally new concept there either. So now that I've addressed the fact that we are for the most part working with the same materials, let me address what I mean by weapons have been recategorized. Basically, primary weapons have been expanded to kinetic and energy weapons, which shall henceforth be referred to as suck-ass weapons. Suck-ass weapons include every weapon that sucks ass. Auto rifles, hand cannons, sidearms, submachine guns, scout rifles, pulse rifles, and fighting lion. This is what I consider the biggest foundational mistake of Destiny 2, because the underlying implication is that we now have two primary weapons. The primary weapon in Destiny 1 is your bread and butter method for dispatching of weak enemies that die easily. Based on nomenclature alone, it's obvious that having two of these weapons would be redundant. You can't have two primary weapons, so it seems obvious that giving us two would be a bad idea. Just to be clear, you can't use two different things primarily. The only reason the change to two primaries would make any sense at all is PvP balance, but unless I get requests for a PvP tirade video, I'm gonna mostly ignore that and focus on the alien genociding player versus environment play they market the game on. You know, the reason we bought the game in the first place. So then, we can extract play from the other implication that special and heavy weapons have been thrown together as power weapons. Special weapons in Destiny 1 were able to compete with power weapons, but with less versatile efficacy. Special weapons included shotguns and sniper rifles and fusion rifles, which all have a major drawback. Snipers don't work so well at close range, shotguns don't work so well at long range, and fusion rifles require you to charge to fire them. Meanwhile, Destiny 1 heavy weapons were incredibly versatile. The rocket launchers tracked enemies, exploded on proximity for huge damage at any range, machine guns could stagger basically every enemy in the game and didn't risk blowing yourself up at all, and swords offered a huge amount of mobility, and they had great ammo for the DPS potential. Admittedly, swords were a little bit less versatile than the other two, but the point to be made is that the heavy weapon slot offered the opportunity to use a weapon that was the best weapon in your loadout, clearly outperforming both your primary and special weapon in almost every case. Technically, sidearms were special weapons at a point as well, but because they're stupid and I hate them, I'm going to pretend they never bastardized Destiny 1 special weapons by introducing them, because that was the start of the downward spiral. We can call that the beginning of the Dark Age if we return to that point, because special weapons and everything else really started to go downhill when it needed to be brought down to the level of a suck-ass sidearm. So, to summarize, every cool weapon in the game has been sequestered to the power weapon slot and our suck-ass weapons now account for two-thirds of our arsenal. This is the clearest explanation I can offer as to how Destiny 2's weapon setup differs from Destiny 1's objectively, subjectively, aesthetically, mechanically, and otherwise superior weapon system. If this drawn-out explanation slash intro hasn't made it clear yet, I'm mad about it. But wait, there's more. Let me explain why I'm mad about it. The single biggest problem with this new system is that it causes utter devastation to gameplay variety. Rockets are currently the best weapon for just about everything. Rockets are hugely effective at any range and have virtually no downside as compared with snipers or shotguns, as discussed earlier. They have the best DPS potential for bosses thanks to Rallying Barricade, which prevents their reload from restricting their damage, they have the best ability to clear groups of adds thanks to their ability to cleave multiple enemies at once, and they have the best burst damage at what appears to be all ranges. And you don't have to aim them! It should be no surprise that in Destiny 1, Bungie made the very intelligent and yet so obvious decision to put snipers and shotguns in a different class of weapon than rockets because they are more specialized. If snipers and rockets are both consistent options, you have to put them in separate slots because if you don't, the weapon with the most obvious disadvantages of having like high flinch requiring you to aim down the sights, working most effectively only at long range so it has basically no usage at close range, the sniper rifle will wind up being virtually useless. You can look at that problem with shotguns from an identical angle. So my argument here is clearly that effectiveness-wise, rockets are so by and far the best choice for your power weapon, any player interested in being as strong as possible would choose to use rocket launchers. So obviously, only that segment of the players should take issue with that system, right? Well, no because even for less serious players, they still only get one power weapon slot too. Let's say, effectiveness be damned, you like shotguns and you're going to use a shotgun. In Destiny 1, you could do that and also use a machine gun, or a rocket launcher, or a sword, or the infinitely bouncing mega laser sleeper simulant. In Destiny 2, if you use a shotgun, you only get a shotgun and suck ass weapons. No matter what power weapon you like, you don't get to enjoy two powerful weapons at once. Destiny 2 has destroyed variety either way you look at it because you only have one powerful slot. That is the antithesis of variety. 
I mean, even if you just think about the naming for kinetic energy and power weapons, it should be obvious that one weapon is supposed to feel powerful, and from that, you can infer the other two are not supposed to feel powerful. So, to recap, the first point I'm getting at here is that the new system destroys gameplay variety, which is a massive, horrible mistake in my opinion. It is really genuinely difficult to understate how terrible a mistake I believe this to be, considering how deeply it impacts the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. All it takes is a few fights against bosses where you're out of your limited power ammo to see how lame it is to tickle a boss to death with an auto rifle. It's not like they just spawn in tons of orange bars, you're gonna run out, you're gonna tickle it to death, it's not very fun. But let's move on to the second point. The second point is that the new weapon system ruins the excitement of loot. I would like to believe it is a well understood thing that Destiny is a looter shooter. That means a big part of the fun comes out of shooting the bad mans and getting the good guns from it. Assuming we can agree on that point, it would then also be agreeable that we want cool loot, right? It could then be inferred that we probably are not interested in two thirds of our weapons being suck ass, right? So let me clarify. The current weapon system exists to the exclusion of truly powerful guns. If you made a gun like Destiny 1's Icebreaker, the enemy combusting, ammo regenerating, piercing screech firing, deathbringer sniper to end all snipers, it would destroy the ammo economy by being the only power weapon with infinite ammo, while all the others have roughly half as much as Destiny 1. If you tried to balance it by taking away the infinite ammo perk, it would be worse than a rocket launcher and wouldn't get used at all, as demonstrated by Borealis, the Destiny 2 sniper that gets extra ammo despite being high impact archetype, and yet nobody talks about it because it's just not exciting or strong enough. In Destiny 1, Icebreaker was kept in check because it ensured that you didn't have a best-in-class primary on, or a best-in-class heavy weapon on, so infinite sniper ammo was strong and tons of fun, but it still wasn't even the best loadout. It was just a really damn cool weapon that was exciting as hell to use. Or, if you made a rocket launcher like Galahorn that did huge damage with tracking and proximity detonation, nobody would ever equip anything else. Galahorn, it's unbridled brilliance. Just destruction made manifest would be so all-encompassing in Destiny 2 that sniper rifles would literally cease to exist. Literally. Snuffed out by the shadow of Galahorn's Eclipse. I'm sure someone out there is thinking, but that's all we used in Destiny 1, Slayerage. And you're right, but it's an entirely new depth of problem in Destiny 2, because that would mean that the five unique classes of weapon would never see the light of day. We're talking about grenade launchers, swords, fusion rifles, shotguns, and sniper rifles. Six if you include linear fusions, and seven if you include all the other rocket launchers. You'd have Galahorn in your suck-ass weapons and nothing else ever. Unlike Icebreaker, Galahorn largely went unchecked in Destiny 1, and believe it or not, it became one of the most beloved weapons of all time and dominated social media the days they sold it. And I don't think any weapon in Destiny 2 would ever be so iconic. I don't think it's possible for a weapon in Destiny 2 to be that iconic. If you made a gun like The Last Word, the Wild West-styled, fan-firing, finger-twirling, 200 RPM hip-fire hand cannon, it would dominate a suck-ass weapon slot 100% of the time by being too not suck ass. The simplest way to explain the issue we have still goes back to gameplay variety. In Destiny 1, occasionally you'd want a best of the best primary weapon or special weapon or heavy weapon because those weapons did different things. They all had situational use. Primary exotics were good for generating super energy or restoring health or beating people in PvP because they didn't have much of an ammo constraint. Special weapon exotics were good for situations where that special weapon was the best option, like sniping a boss from far away from DPS. Heavy exotics work best if you just wanted to hit as hard as possible with the most impact or to just feel as powerful as you possibly could. In Destiny 2, because we have two weapon slots that overlap in gameplay, kinetic and energy weapons, or to be consistent with my verbiage, suck ass 1 and suck ass 2, a truly strong weapon for one would dwarf the other type entirely. Meanwhile, since there's only one power weapon, a truly strong weapon for that class of weapon would make every other interesting power weapon an alternative not worth considering. So to bring this all back around, the new weapon system makes it really hard for great gear to exist, period, which makes the looting aspect of Destiny 2 that much less exciting. Every time someone wants the loot system to be fixed, part of me agrees, but another part of me is very well aware that it's a foundation problem. They couldn't just give us more armor and more guns and have it fix the loot system. We need loot that's worth wanting, and the near purely cosmetic armor combined with the necessarily middle of the road weapons makes that a real challenge. They can't make weapons that stand out because if they did, it would completely unbalance the way that they've set up the system that is based purely on balance. Another quick recap. Problem one is that gameplay variety is destroyed, and problem two is that valuable loot is basically impossible to make. So those two issues are major, critical aspects of the game that are greatly diminished or otherwise held back totally needlessly by some crazy commitment to make a mediocre at best PvP experience. That's the only way I can justify deliberately making us vastly less powerful in PvE. 
There are also other minor but still obvious asinine issues born out of this mistake. Uh, our kinetic and energy slots are made up of six different types of weapon, and we can equip two of those between the two slots. Meanwhile, our power weapon slot has seven different types of weapon, but only one slot. Not to mention the fact that one of those slots is almost sure to be taken up by the Red Leech and comms or whatever that starts the Legend of Acrius quest. That is simply not enough space to have a variety of weapons in that one slot. Let alone the fact that exotics make you double up on weapon types since you might want Curtain Call and Wardcliff on your character at the same time. It's just oversaturated and needlessly slow, and it's annoying to me because I can't help but look at it and just think, why? Why would you do this? Another one of the minor but obnoxious issues is the fact that we no longer have heavy ammo synthesis, so for strike bosses or raid bosses, we have to play around making orange bar enemies drop ammo for us. Having guaranteed drops from those enemies is nice, but it also effectively discourages the use of power ammo on anything but those enemies, which takes away from the fun of liberally blowing enemies to kingdom come. It's not fun to have ammo management forced so strictly with no forgiveness to where you always have to think about it. And when you're down to only your suck-ass weapons, it's annoying to barely scrape by collecting enough ammo for weapons that aren't even exciting to use in the first place. It's one thing to have a more significant ammo economy, which I, I do believe that is good, but it feels like I'm running out of ammo more often because my guns aren't capable of dealing enough damage, which is just frustrating. And I know I said I wasn't going to talk about PvP much, and I'm not, but I would like to include somewhere in this video that the new power ammo system makes the game utterly boring to play and watch. When I have power ammo, I'm a god that destroys every guardian who can't fight back. And it's not exactly montage material when you see a guy shotgun down three helpless guardians who are using scout rifles and can't really do anything about it. I mean, if I don't have power ammo, I have to play safe to avoid it. And if I do have power ammo, I destroy people who are completely powerless to avoid it. Not to mention that rockets are so obviously the best choice for PvP due to how easy and risk-free they are to use. I mean, I have a million other complaints about PvP, but for this video in particular, the new weapon system encourages a very boring playstyle that makes it literally impossible for a good player to stand out for their skill. The best playstyle, thanks to this new weapon system, among other issues, does not have a very high skill ceiling, and that makes the game really unfun to watch, and for people who want to stand out for their skill, it makes it unfun to play. I may not be, you know, talking for everyone when I say that. I'm sure there are people that still think that it's skillful, but I think you're wrong. Sorry. I mean, honestly, even Halo let you use a sniper and a rocket launcher at the same time. And that game isn't even about a power fantasy. It just let you have two weapons and the ammo constraint was what kept it in check. It's much, much more complex than that. And Halo pulls off the idea of balancing around power ammo much more effectively in the PvP. But all I'm getting at here is that Destiny 2 is literally holding us back, and that's the worst thing for a looter shooter that builds itself on a power fantasy to do. I do not understand why they would ever think that was a good idea. It's the same systemic issue we have with slower ability recharge rates, but that's for another time. So, all of this said, let me just quickly recap the main problem. Just in a quick little conclusion, TLDR you can link for your friends. So our gameplay diversity takes a huge hit thanks to the new system. We can't explore the full depth of the available weapons without crippling ourselves, which is lame. And even if you do experiment with non-meta weapons, you still only get to use fewer of them. The power fantasy has been worse than halved on account of the fact that we have half as many strong weapons, and the strong weapons are now relatively weaker than Destiny 1 strong weapons, and the ammo constraint is tighter on all of them due to trying to better manage their balance, and we have ability cooldowns that are longer, which just makes us feel weaker and less unique and less powerful. And on top of that, not only is the loot in Destiny 2 less exciting to get as a result of the change, but you can also see the way they have systemically forced themselves into a position where it's much more difficult to create strong loot. It would create huge, obvious balance problems if they did make strong loot that would result in all of us neglecting huge parts of the weapon pool. And then, on top of that, there are those little minor complaints that add up to making the new weapon system seem obviously questionable at best, or plain old unfun and disappointing at worst. It does not seem well thought out. And the payoff for all of these negative factors is... what, exactly? The new weapon system sucks. The fix for it is to just go back to Destiny 1 system and put the grenade launchers as special weapons and make large machine guns a thing again. I don't even have to go into depth on this fix because it was perfectly fine in Destiny 1 and I'm not sure where they tried to fix what wasn't broken. Iconic guns like Galahorn and Icebreaker and Thorn and the Last Word do not come out of a system like what we have now, they just don't. I don't have to talk about what needs to be done to fix it because we've seen a system that works. It already exists. It still exists. And that's not to say Destiny 2 is a bad game, but this is a particularly pervasive, deep-rooted, and totally obnoxious change that I could not be more vehemently opposed to. I hope this has been eye-opening as to why the new weapon system feels so bad to me. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends if you agree.